All right, all right. So I just made, I just tried making two videos, and they were both too long for, uh, what's it called, uh, YouTube or whatever, and um, or Facebook. And so I gotta make this one like super quick, and I can't show you pretty much anything that I wanted to show you. I just have to show you like the basic, the main thing that I kind of wanted to show you. So, um, you know, stupid, you know, cursed uh, people on the internet, you know, stupid kangaroos, anything, you know. So anyway, let's just get started. This is the Mad World remix that I made about two weeks ago. Bunch of controversial people were saying that I didn't make any of this stuff. Uh, I just preset it. I just put two little things together, and A and B equals C, and C was C. Happened to be pretty cool. Not 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 gonna lie, it turned out really well. Um, half my crap doesn't turn out well at all. So I'm not bragging. I'm just saying I got lucky, and uh, I I mixed with the right chemicals, and I got something that smelled pretty good. So let's see let's see what let's see what happens. All right, what I'm gonna explain to you is this top one right here. Now, uh, you know what? I meant to do this a long time ago. Let me link these together. Inkle, yay. Okay, so something that I gotta start before. Uh oh, phone's ringing. Better not be for me. Something I started before. Um, okay, this is from the song "Mad World" by Tears for Fears, not Gary Jules and Donnie Darko. Yes, it was it was redone by Gary Jules and in Donnie Darko, but it was originally done by Tears for Fears in 1963. I'm not quite sure. I looked it up yesterday because I was gonna do this yesterday. Don't remember. Okay, Mad World. So this is what I can't take credit for. This is pretty much. Okay, this is pretty much the main thing in the song. Here we go. Hold on. All right, I'm trying to play that. Twisting my back really bad. Oh well, no excuses, no excuses. I suck at piano. It's what MIDI's for. Can mess around with it in the uh, piano roll. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Anyway, so here it is. This is what it is. This was after it's quantized and set to the grid. Okay, so this is it. Da 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 da. da. All right. So it's simple enough. Simple enough. Okay, so after you get it in there, I said, okay, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? This right here is this channel strip. I'm talking really fast, I know, and no one's here to tell me to slow down. But I have to talk fast because that's so much information, you know. Anyway, so anyways, here are the inserts. This is what makes it change. This is right before the sound hits the speakers. It goes through the inserts. These are the inserts on the channel strip. These are pretty much junk. You can put nice, in you can put nice inserts in here, but they're not going to be as nice as sending it to a bus because buses, if you go to my mixer, Buses are just meant for inserts. You send an instrument to a bus. This took me about three weeks to realize. Everyone thinks, including me, that buses are an instrument. No, 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 no. This is this doesn't make noise. I hit the keyboard. You look down here where it says no in. I hit the keyboard. Okay, well it's making noises because it's it's gooey because it's uh making noises through this. But if I this is not an instrument. Let's just say that. So let me let me let me get started. Okay. So anyway, what I was saying. Okay, so let's just say, all right, bus 10. So what do we got here? I don't know why this is muted. This is not supposed to be muted. I just think, oh, it's from the last vi the last video. Jesus, Jesus. Uh, anyway, so we got three things going on here to make that noise that it was coming from. So let's say we got tape delay, flanger, and scanner vibrato. Okay, so 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 let's see. Let let me let me bypass these two, and you know what? Actually, I'm gonna do a little different. I'm gonna bypass this one first because this one's the tightest one. That one took me a little while. These are just pretty much preset, except I mess a little bit with them. So, let's play this and solo it and see what it sounds like. All right, and uh, unbypass this one. So, this is what it sounds like when you add this in. Now, junky microphone equals you probably won't be able to hear what it's doing. It's taking a, what is it? I think it's a, I forgot what it was. Um, uh, what is it? What is it? No, like it's just basically a test oscillator that's going up and down from, I think it might be 50 to 10,000 hertz. I, I ah, no, I forgot what I said it at. I don't know. It's in preference there. Let's go go in there. So it's basically going up and down. If I were to turn this up a lot. <laughs> Hear that? Like rubber band, very classic. It's in a lot of things. It's just not that strong, obviously. Uh, so that's that noise. All right. So that's good. That's good to go. All right. Let's see here. All right. Scanner vibrato. So let's add this in. You're definitely not going to be able to hear this, so I'm not going to waste my time. It's basically a chorus. There's other things called chorus and ensemble, but they're too complicated for this simple little track. Eat up too much memory. 
you know, it's why, why bother when this sounds just as good? It's not the vibrato that you're thinking of. It's not like a singer, you know, oh, that stupid thing. This is, well, this is what it is. But I I just erase some of those other things and just so that it gives me kind of a chorus effect. So, like, there's more than one thing playing it. So, let's play this again and see what it sounds like. Okay. Once again, you're probably not going to be able to hear it through these, this uh, microphone. Okay, so here we go. This is this is where it's at. This is the tape delay. You know those little tape recorders that you get, and you know you can mess with them. I'm not gonna, you know. So okay, so let's see. We've got sixteenth notes, eighth notes, quarter notes, and half notes. What does that mean? Three. Huh. Okay. Tempo. Okay. Feedback. Smooth. LFO. So it has an LFO. That's good. Everything has an LFO. So let's see. Let's at, let's unbypass this and see what we can stir up. Alright, now, let's mess around with this and see what happens. Okay, so, you know, it's pretty tight, not gonna lie. And I just found the one I wanted. Oh, there, there they go, high cut 20 to 20,000, I was right. Uh, no, actually, I was wrong. I said 50 to 10,000. Um, so, I just, you know, that's half of what you do in this thing, is you just keep going and going until you, excuse me, find something you like. That's what I did. Half the time, you don't even know what it is, but it helps if you do. So, that's how I made this track. Uh, yeah, that's all three of them. That's how I made this track. You know, that's how I got it to sound like it did, which is... Alright, if I were to turn down the volume... That's turning down the volume of bus 10. If I were to turn back on bus 10, if I were to turn it higher than it should be, and that just sounds, the reason that sounds like crap is because it's it's amplifying what's happening after the, the dry attack of the actual channel. You see what I'm saying? Like this is, let's just say you had an echo. Let's just say you hit something and you had an echo. It'd be like you didn't amplify the hit, but you amplified the echo. So it'd be like boom, boom, boom. You see what I'm saying? So it'd be crazy. Anyway, so that's about, what is that, 1.6 or so? So anyway, that's how I did that. Um, I can't really go too much into anything else. Uh, you know, here you go. Let me. Cell phone. Okay, be quiet. And here we go. We got, you know, just simple stuff. So let's just see how it sounds. I'm just going to bring this up. It's exactly what you think it is. I tried going into it. I really can't go into it. Uh, I want to. I want to, but I can't. Uh, so this is exactly what it is. It's cut off, uh, whatever. So let's just listen to it and see what it... Listen to it and see how it sounds, you know what I mean? Let's just do it. Anyway, I was doing rocking out a little bit there. All right, that's it. You know, that's how it's done. That, my friend, is it. All right, so let's go back to here, and that's the end of the video. Thank you, and good night. Thanks for sticking around. It's bo if, it, if you're as bored as, uh, as much as I am right now, you know, you, you know, I appreciate you sticking around. So uh, if I make another one, you know, check it out. It might be as, is as boring as this one. Who knows? So uh, I'll catch you later.